Hello True Believer, today we're going to finish off um, the second part in tutorial number five, creating the Our Totem part. Okay, so let's begin. So we're going to build something like this during this step. Um, so the first step is we need to place an egg. So we go over here to characters, down egg, and we just place that guy down. Okay, so then the egg needs to be rotated so it's on this other side. Whoop. So we click there. And we click shift, we've rotated the egg around. We then now, now need to scale the egg down. So 18 at 48 and 24 down. So if we go here, 18.48, enter. And click there, 18.48. And if we go back up there, 24.64. There, and we're going to make it brown wood as well. So we go down to brown. And we'll zoom in onto our little guy. So then the next part is that we need to make a sphere. And we've got to make it have those dimensions and be that high off the ground. So we'll go back to normal basic shapes. And I've got it um, saved off on my computer screen on the other side. So I've got all the dimensions here. You'll need to play around with them yourself. So we got that at 16 dot. Whoop. So we got that at 17 dot five. And then we've got this dimension here. Six, oh, Come back. Sixteen dot two five, and then the height. We'll bring that back down, and we'll go to sixteen dot two five. So there we go. So we've got our little egg. We can align that. So we've got a line. perfectly centered and we'll pop him up through the top and change that to brown fantastic so now that should look something similar to that maybe a little bit more width Sensitivity down. That'll do. Fantastic. So now we've got to make uh, the ear pieces, uh, sort of the eyebrow is the intention, I'm pretty sure, with these. So we go there. Uh, eventually that'll be green, I think, from memory. So let's just change the colors so that they look the same. And those are the dimensions that you need to sort of make this piece look like. So if we go here, seven dot five five. Why did you do that? Seven dot five five. The height come down to four point nine three, and then this width here should be thirteen dot six two. Awesome. So now, if we bring this up. should be going for. So we need to rotate it around this way. And we need to 
rotate it around this way. And then we'll press forward. Up. Give it a bit more rotation around. That looks about right. Ish. Maybe a little bit more. And we'll give it a a bit more rotation that way. That's better. Cool. So we got that. Now we'll duplicate that. Flip it. Swing him over the other side. Awesome. So that's step one done. Let's move on to the next bit. So step two is going to be a little bit more trickier. So we're going to try and build some eyes and a beak. So first step is we're going to try and put the work plane, white corner of the line, roughly where the image should be for the um, eye. So if we got this, probably want to put the eye about there. So we're going to put the work plane right down where the sort of the center of this eye should be. So we'll put the eye about there and place a sphere on it. And we use shift alt to drag that down. And we're going to make a yellow and a black version of it. So there's the yellow version and then they're going to put the pupil of the eye inside of that. So we need to probably push this back a little bit into the eye. Move a bit more this way. Get that back. Like that. Probably can make this a little bit bigger. And pull that back a bit more in. Perfect. So we've got that bit there. And then we're going to go duplicate. going to be the black and we'll shrink that down and bring it out and we'll make that yellow If we click on the work plane outside, zoom in, there's one eye done. So now, if I shift click on both of that and I group it and go control D, whoop. we group it, we need to make sure it's multicolored. Control D. Now we can shift that across the other side. Now, of course, the eye is going to be facing a different way. So we need to rotate that around. something like that 
and then we'll bring this guy down a bit as well. Into there. Fantastic, so there's the eyes done. Now we're gonna put the beak in the middle. So this is a bit trickier. So we're gonna put a work plane back in the middle. That's Mac where we think roughly the nose should go. And we're gonna put a pyramid down. And we're gonna press shift alt. Scale that down. And we wanna probably rotate that. So we've got the beak. Um, might want to make that a bit longer. A little bit thinner. So just shift alt. And we'll put that back down there. Control back. Control down. And let's see what, how that looks. Yeah. Pretty cool. Now we're going to place some toruses, so for the eyes. So again, uh, we're going to change the work plan. So I always find zooming out, clicking work plan, then coming out. Um, might put that nose down a little bit. So we're going to put the torus in, so we're going to go work plane, click on the front of the eye, put the torus in, and then we're going to go shift alt, shift alt, and drop them down. fill with that so it sort of matches where you want it to be. Uh, control D and go across the other side. Obviously it's going to need to re-rotate it again. So if we look for the little rotation guy. And there's our eyes. So that's the eyes uh, basically done with the eyelids over the top. Now it looks pretty cool. So now we need to do that. Um, basically play around with the eyelids so that they match, which we've done. And we'll move on to the next step. So then the last sort of step we want to place is the wing. So we're going to put an egg again. So we go up here to characters, place an egg, zoom out. And you basically want to fiddle around with this until you get something that looks reasonable. Um, I found rotating this egg helped to heat. Um, and then shrinking it down this way, and then back a little, maybe a little bit wider. And give this, um, shrink this back, and then from what I remember, it's maybe half the f 
flat this body is as his body. So let's bring that down a little bit more. Shrink him down that way. Let's see how this little fella goes on the side here. Oh, that's too wide that way now. And make that brown. Simple way to do the other side is control D, flip, and then I'll just press to the left arrow to go all the way over the other side. And keep going. Perfect. Awesome. So then the last little bit is then we're going to put it. Um, some chest piece things on him. So pyramids again, so we go back to basic shapes, pyramid. Uh, we want to put the work plane on, so we put the work plane on where roughly we want to put it. So right there. And then if we look carefully at this image, it's sort of the reverse triangle. So it's like one of these sides. So let's rotate this around to sort of face in the way that it will. And then we'll shrink, sorry, Alt Shift, shrink it down. And we want them to be blue. And we'll move that a little bit more to the left. And that looks nearly in. Too far in. So there's one side done. Then we'll go Control D. Let's see if we can do this where we flip it and we'll go that way around. Over here, let's see what happens when we flip Not that way. Let's see that. No. Probably just going to be easy to rotate it. So we go workplace, click on the um, chest piece. And push it back in. Oh, they want one more on the top. Okay, so let's do that. Let's control D. Oh, control up. So this looks like it's going to be more of a headpiece sort of thing. And let's flip it. That's what they've done there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And then we'll push it down. And give it a bit of a rotate. There we go. There's our owl done. So finish off with the last bit and doing well. Keep going.